Johnny, a young boy with messy hair and dirt-streaked face, wanders through the magical forest, lost and confused. The trees whisper to each other in a language only they understand, while colorful butterflies flit around Johnny's head, lighting up the dark forest. Hello? Is anyone there? The sound of rustling leaves catches Johnny's attention as he sees a baboon emerge from the shadows. The baboon has wise eyes and a knowing smile. I've been watching you, lost child. Do not fear, for I am here to guide you out of this mystical place. Johnny's eyes widen in awe as the baboon leads him through a secret path illuminated by glowing fireflies. As they walk, the baboon tells Johnny stories of ancient magic and powerful forces that reside within the forest. How can I ever repay you for saving me? The baboon chuckles softly, patting Johnny. Now, I know you're eager to learn how to create such videos, so without wasting time, hit that subscribe button. Also, remember to like and share this video so that more people will be able to see it. Let's get started. So, the first tool that we're using today is called Gravity Write. The link is in the description, or you can just go to Google and search for Gravity Write. And once you get to their homepage, you'll see a list of all the services that they offer. But today, all you're interested in is a script for our AI movie. So we're just going to the filmmaking tools. You can see they have a list of all the filmmaking tools that they have. So we're just going to the AI film script writer. So this is the page that will open up. And as you can see, we're expected to write the gender of the film that we want. We also expected to write the film style. And also, we are supposed to give the duration of the time that we want for our film. So the next thing that you need to do is just input a description of what you want your film to be about. So if you know what you want to make a film about, you just input it in the description. And then just hit create content. And Gravity Write is just going to create a very nice script for you. As you can see, our script is ready in just minutes. Now, the next thing that you need to do is to create prompts for image generation in the next step. And all you need to do is just go back and hit AI image generation prompts. And we'll just copy the script that uh, was provided for us. And you're going to paste it in this box. And also, we're just going to fill in this, like the gender of the film and the film style and all that. And you're just going to hit generate. And again, you're just going to get all these prompts that's we can use for the next step to generate all our images. If you're using Mid Journey or Blue Willow, you can just copy the prompts as they are. But if you're using any other image generation tool, just copy the descriptive part of the prompt. For our image generation, you're going to be using Leonardo AI. If you do not have an account, just register for one. It's really easy. And once you get to this interface, all you need to do is just hit image generation. And now we are just going to paste our prompt from the previous step here and you're going to change the style that you want to 3d animation style since that's what uh the movie we are creating about you're creating an, a 3d animation movie and now we are also going to change the aspect ratio to the ratio that we want we are also going to add a negative prompt just to be on the safe side and once that is done then you just hit generate and Leonardo AI is going to generate our images. As you can see, we are getting some very nice images, very nice quality. Now, all you need to do is just repeat this process with the rest of the images that you need to generate. As you can see, the images are actually of really nice quality. So you're just going to do this over and over again until you've received all, until you've generated all the images that you require. The next tool that we are going to be using today is Runway and we are just going to use Runway to animate the images that we got from our previous step. So you just sign into your account or just create one. It's really simple and just hit generate and you'll be able to upload the images that you want to animate. So we're just going to upload this image. Once it's uploaded, now, today I'm just going to use the motion brush because I feel like uh, the other one doesn't give me the kind of animation that I exactly want. So now we're just going to use the animation brush, uh, sorry, we're just going to be using the motion brushes to tailor the movement that our character is going to have and also the environment around them. So each of these brushes can be used to give the elements in our pictures different kind of movements. I have done a full tutorial on that in a previous tutorial so you can just check that out in case you do not know what to do here 
So we are just going to use each of these brushes to give our character different movements. So once you're done with the brushes, then you just hit done and then you can now hit generate. And now we're going to start getting our videos one by one. And as you can see, the character is moving exactly how I wanted it to move. So we're just going to repeat this process with all our characters. Just use the different motion brushes to give each of the element the kind of movement that you want. And you're going to get each of these characters moving exactly the way we want them to. Once you've generated all your videos and you're satisfied with the results, now just go ahead and download each of them. The next thing we need is voiceovers for our characters. So we'll just be using OG. You can sign in or if you do not have an account, just sign up. Now hit classic create, then hit text. So now at this point, you have to realize that you have to create different voiceovers for your different characters. For instance, in our case, we have Johnny, we have the baboon and the person that's going to be narrating the story. So we're just going to go to uh, our script and you're going to pick Johnny's part and you're going to generate Johnny's uh, part with the same voice. So don't forget that part. So we're just going to choose to paste it here and choose a voice for our first character who is Johnny and we're just going to preview and listen to the character. As you can see, there's a bunch of uh, voices that you can choose from. So you'll just need to go through it to see what best fits your character. How can I ever repay you for saving me? So now what you're going to do here, we're just going to repeat this same process, making sure that we've used the same voice to generate all of uh, Johnny's parts. We're also going to do the same for the baboon. You're going to choose the, uh, we're going to copy the baboon's part and you're also going to make sure that the voice that is used to generate the baboon's part is also the same. Same thing that we'll, we're going to do with our narrator. The sound of rustling leaves catches Johnny's attention as he sees a baboon emerge from the shadows. The baboon has wise eyes and a knowing smile. Johnny's eyes widen in awe. So once all our audios are ready, now the next thing that we need to do is to lip sync our videos and our audios. And for that we'll be using Lalamo. And Lalamo is actually now integrated with Canva. So we'll be using it inside of Canva. So you're just going to go to Canva and you're going to go to apps and you're going to search for Lalamo Studio. And this is what you're going to see once you get to Lalamo Studio. You have an option to upload your videos and you also have an option to upload your own audio. Now, if you do not have your own audio, you can generate a voiceover right on Lalamo. Uh, as you can see, they have a bunch of voices that you can actually choose from. So all you need to actually do is just go copy your uh, text, the text that you want. And then you're going to input in the text box and you're going to choose a voiceover. Hello? Is anyone there? Yeah, as you can see, their voices are actually okay. So you can actually do that if you do not have a voiceover. But since we already have our own video and audio, we are just going to upload the video. And you're also going to go ahead and upload our own uh, the audio that we generated earlier from OG. And once this is, uh, once they're both uploaded, all you need to do now is just go ahead and hit generate lip sync video. And Lalamu is just going to do the work for you. So once this is done, your video will actually be in the upload section of videos. That is where you're going to find uh, your generated videos. So just go ahead and repeat this same process to lip sync all the videos that you need to lip sync. And you can download the videos if you're using a different video editor. If not, you can actually just compile your entire video or movie right here on Canva. Now you might actually find it useful to add sound effects or music to your movie and for that you can just go to pixabay they have a huge library where you can choose any of the audios or you can use uh, one of the sounds on epidemic sound you have a seven day free trial you can check them out they have really nice music and very nice sound effects especially the sound effects i really love them from uh, epidemic sound you can actually check them out and see if you have if they have anything that you might like uh, after that, then all you're left to do is now to just compile our entire movie. And for that, you're just going to use CapCut. So now we're just going to import all our videos, all our audios and our sound effects and music to CapCut. 
and you're going to blend them nicely. Make sure that each clip is exactly where it's supposed to be. We're going to add some nice transitions. Just make sure that the sound effects are exactly where they're supposed to be. And you're just going to edit this out and make sure that the whole thing blends in together very nicely. And basically, that's it. You have your movie. Congratulations.